Hello, hello, hi, I am back again, and today I want to do another Shea and Blue video. So, you might have noticed I've done a few Shea and Blue videos recently, mainly because I love this brand, and I have been wearing their perfumes for years. I love what they do, I'm such a huge fan of their perfumes, and I really just feel it's time I shared more information. So today I want to talk about one of my favorites, it's called Amber Rose, and it's truly magnificent. So one of the reasons I love Shea and Blue so much is because they have the ability to combine just a few different accords to make something really special. So it feels quite simple, it feels quite elegant, but it also feels really unique as well. And also I love the way everything smells really fresh, really natural, really like ooh, plucked from nature. So today we're gonna to be talking about Amber Rose. I have a cheat sheet. So Amber Rose, they say it sets pulses racing. I agree, I smell divine. It includes notes of May Rose, Dolce de Leche. I never know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's like a caramel thing, delicious, on white amber. So you know how they always say that roses are the queen of flowers? Well, this perfume smells like the queen of flowers. It smells really rich and velvety and opulent and decadent and it's got lots of like pink and red roses in it and it just smells really velvety and sensual and floral and heady. But then because it's got that dolce, dolce, because it's got the caramel tones, it's also really like sweet and delicious and you just want to sniff more. It's very addictive, very delicious and addictive. Like you just want to get in there, smell it, you love the sweetness, you want that kind of like, is it vanilla carameliness? Or whatever it is, gorgeous. And then it's got that white mask, so it's really like sensual, smooth. It's got a lot of smoothness. So from the word go, you get that kind of like rich red and pink roses. You know when you're like, it smells like money. But then you also get the smoothness, the carameliness, the addictiveness of like the, I never know how to pronounce this, but it's like dolce de leche, the caramel stuff. So it smells very like delicious and rich and caramelly and like beautiful and yummy and addictive. And you want more and more and more of it. Yeah, it's true. You want more and more and more of it. It's delicious. And then it's got the white musk, which is very like smooth and soft and sensual and silky. This fragrance is all about textures. Like you want to get in there, you want to smell it, you want to feel it. You love the velvetiness, you love the smoothness, you love the runniness. It's very floral and opulent and delicious and oh, I love it. It's, it's so good. And the caramelliness is kind of almost a little boozy, you know, it's kind of almost like like a slightly whiskey caramelliness. It's delicious. The roses are really like juicy and rich and full and oh. And then that white musk just leaves that trail of like elegance like, hmm, I don't care. You keep on walking. You know, it's just, oh, it's just so good. Like if you wanna feel fabulous, you need to wear this perfume because it is truly like, I don't give two SHs. I smell amazing and I feel good about myself and I am having a damn good day. That's how I feel when I wear it. So that is the perfume. I just want to tell you a little about it. And also if you want to smell some other delicious Shea and Blue perfumes, you should try Salt Caramel because that is delicious. And if you want to try something a little bit more like fun and happy and joyful and citrusy, you should try either Pacific Limes or Blood Oranges because both of those are amazing. Also love dandelion fig, but we'll talk about all them very, very soon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope I described that perfume without sounding like a weirdo. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.